Good day and welcome to Duff's Drop of the Day, Episode 2, coming at you from snowy Canada on a Wednesday. We've got here the Ultimate Pass Tournament. This is Day 3, the final round. Chance to finally win some rewards on this one. We're looking at Hole 17, pretty long par 3. And let's get into it. So... First thing, go have a look. I had RB from the last hole. I can almost get there with the wood, but I'd be into that overpower. Don't like it. It's all about precision, and we want precise approaches. So what am I going to do? I'm going to option B, which is holy driver. I love the holy driver on the par threes. Now, I switched out my wood there for a basic wood to give me more room with my driver. So when you're stuck in between clubs, you've got to switch that club behind it out to give yourself more room. So I have a look with the holy driver. Don't like it in a tail. Would have been good in a headwind, I think. Didn't like it in a tail. So don't be afraid. Switch your clubs around. I'm going fusion now. Fusion is definitely my second choice when it comes to these long par threes. Fairly accurate club. I've been using it for a long, long time pretty comfortable with it. So first thing, get that backspin on and we start to have a look. So I'm going to straighten that line out. Again, it's so important to get that line straight. Any little bend or curl you've got in it is just going to continue on after that ball guide ends and it's hard to actually visualize what it's going to do. So get that ball guide straight. I know from experience there's a tiny little bit of right break right at this hole. But I'm basically lining up like left half of center. So I've got my uh, position roughly. Now I'm measuring the max distance so I can get a real precise adjustment on my fusion. Now that goes out the window because the defined boundary on this hole is up by that cart path and I can't. I can't move my rings any further. I don't know where Max Fusion is. I knew I was close though, so I just added two rings to my calculation. Anyway, here I am, lining my shot up, just slightly left of center, and because I'm in a tailwind situation, I've taken off one bar of backspin. Because of that secondary wind effect, it's gonna push the ball from behind after that first bounce, I've taken that bar off so I know what it's going to look like. There, you just saw me put it back on. So I've taken it off to see what the ball is going to do, and then I've applied it back on. Go check out my other videos. I talk about this at length. So I make my adjustment. Now I'm pulling back downhill just slightly here. I've set up to the hole a little bit closer than I won't normally would, but not much. One final check to make sure I actually did put that spin back on. Hip perfect. And there we go. Ace. Hole 17 on London. I've hit that one a few times. It's pretty straightforward once you get it figured out. Not a ton of trickery to it. And there's the round. Pretty good round. I uh, caught a little bit of fire on the back nine. And I think I'm up three or four on this one. Anyway, fun little tournament. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. And go check out my buddy, Jimmy Banger's channel as well. The guy is the best tournament player in the game. He's posted a few live streams now. you are definitely pick up some tips from him as well. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow with another edition of Duff's Drop of the Day. Thank you.